A lot of collectors ask me how long it takes to create a painting, and honestly, it takes a lifetime. I was born in England and my family moved to Northern California when I was three years old. And my brother and I grew up exploring the hills and valleys and lakes of California. We spent a lot of time hiking, fishing, just uh, playing on rope swings. It was a, a great childhood and very inspirational, all the natural world around me. I started painting when I was very young. Probably, really, the first painting I did was probably five years old. But I really got more into art when I was maybe 12 or 13. I started doing some wildlife work in oils and acrylics. I switched to doing a lot of drawing. And eventually, uh, in high school, you know, progressed and did more detailed work and got into bigger subject matters and uh, could maybe be a professional artist one day. What you really see in my art is the, the inspiration I get from nature. It's, you know, the trees, uh, the, the animals I do, the landscapes. I put a lot of light and color and detail into my work, and I really try to capture that essence of nature. I work in a variety of mediums, including canvas and metal and paper, but the metal is really what I was trying to do to bring the pieces more to life, to give them a three-dimensional feeling. Initially, when I start my metal pieces, I start with a sketch, I come up with my design, that is then cut out of a composite aluminum, which I used to do by hand. That was taking so long, though, that I wasn't creating enough work. So now I'll do my design in a computer program, which I use to send to my CNC machine, and that machine helps me cut my design out without destroying my wrist and helps me do it a little bit quicker. Once I have my composite aluminum cut, I will paint the background for the piece, which is a solid piece of aluminum. I will paint the composite aluminum, and then the two get attached together. That is when I come back after and I use all kinds of different material to build up that 3D effect, whether it be polymer clay, acrylic modeling paste, and then I'll use uh, also glass beads, crushed glass, uh, stone, all kinds of things that help build that three-dimensional image up. One of the final steps in my metal pieces is to add the epoxy resin. It is poured on, it's a thick honey-like consistency. I use a blowtorch which releases all the air bubbles, and then it allows me to add any other additional elements to help build up that three-dimensional effect. I think when you look at my work, you realize the amount of different techniques involved. There's so many different things that go into it. There's different types of materials, there's different types of painting methods, whether it be with a brush, whether it be airbrush, whether it's sponges, there's all kinds of things that go into creating this unique piece of work. My ultimate goal is for collectors to be able to look at my work and feel as if they can walk right into it and feel the inspiration that I get from nature. <laughs>